doing graphs in Excel may look complicated because they're a graphic display, um, but it's extremely simple. And I'll give you two different ways of doing it. Um, here's the here's the information we got. This is basically we've created a spreadsheet with the little bits of information we got here. Uh, these are for sales. These are the guys' names, and these are the months, and these are their actual sales totals. So I want to show this in a format where I can take it to the guys and say, "Look, this is how you're doing." Um, I could actually add total at the end there and do that slightly different. Um, but we'll just work with what we got, keep it simple. Um, the first thing is if you just highlight all the data, which is like basically go to the top left of where you want the data to start and hold the left mouse button, pull over the top, let go, and you've now got all the data you want and simply just press F11. Ta da! There you, there's your graph. It's got in the bottom here all the months, color coded, very easy to read, all the names and you're good to go and you can actually alter the chart styles up here on the top change the colors whatever you want to do with it you know it's very flexible you have now got the data to make it pretty and as you'll see at the bottom here it puts it to the right uh, to the left of where the data come from so there's our data here now the other thing is sometimes you got data coming in um, this is just an example of why I want it on the same screen so We'll grab it again, but this time we'll play, press Alt F1. And as you see, it's just created a graph. Now this is on the same screen as you can see, but say um, Alan just come in and he's not got nine sales, he's got uh, 15. If I put the 15 in here, if you look to Alan's uh, chart here, you'll see where I put 15 and press enter. It's just altered it and brought it up to speed, so it's you know you can actually see it live view, and that's why I like to keep them. You know, sometimes you want them both on the same screen, but you could also go into a meeting where you got people bringing figures to the meeting, and it slightly increases as the meeting goes, or it could be their um, the data on the where this data is coming from is a bit more um, live coming from a data being pulled through formulas and these could be constantly updating themselves a um, lot more advanced than what we're looking at at the moment but it is possible to have a live view so that is basically how to get your charts very simple very fast and you can if you double click on it you should be able to make it nice and pretty there you go, the little brush on the top right there. You can alter it. You can, let's change it completely. And then you've got your filters, so you can alter the information in there just to have the specifics you want. Maybe you only want two people, your top salespeople, and doing a comparison. Whatever reason you got, all the tools are there. And this is why I say put some dummy information into Excel mess around with it, get used to it, because when somebody asks you, can you do this, you'll know how to do it.